And here we go. Kansas controlling the tip and on a fast break to get things going. Out of bounds. Thomas looking. Man to man early. They'll mix in some zone and certainly some full court pressure as well. Thomas makes it in to put Kansas on the board first. Kansas is going to start out man as well. You'll see multiple defenses, mostly in the half court and mostly a protective type of in the basket area. Nice bounce pass inside to Mandy Simpson who finishes with the lefty lay-in. And as you mentioned, defensive efforts down there, what does look the same is the face guard on Taylor Robertson. Yeah, that, that doesn't change game to game. <laughs> so inside goes Tiefer for Kansas. Oklahoma looking to pay at a quick pace. You know, this is a game that will go up and down the floor. So Williams goes down trying to retrieve the inbounds pass. And charged. By the lane, clearly two or three inches outside the arc. Set up perfectly. Make sure the hands are up. That's technique perfect right there. Williams on the drive. Simpson out to Gregory. That is good. Well, she's gotten so much more confident. You know, I, I know Meg mentioned it in, in, in the open. So much more confident on the catch and shoot freeze. Steal by Weitenheimer. Going to take it all the way in. Finishes off the defense to offense. We talk about technique. Tatum used the correct hand to reach on that takeaway. Very, very clever. Her 36th steal this season. And there is Thomas on the response for Kansas. Yeah, keep an eye on Thomas. That's one of the feature players on this Kansas squad. Kansas can score points, and you're seeing an example early here in the game. Back door, Robertson on the cut. And she's going to get called for the offensive foul. See, she reached with her outside hand, okay, and was able to gain that length and deflect to herself. Goes into a score. Technique perfect. Franklin on the drive. And another offensive foul. Going to really attack the lane. So two early fouls for Franklin. So in comes Brooklyn Mitchell for the Jayhawks. Gregory, another pull up, and Simpson, illegal screen. Yeah, the ability to, 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 to make sure that when you roll off of that screen, you're not in the path of the defender. You know, when you initiate contact on that move, D. Cantner, the official, right on top of that. When, Mitchell again, you know, th this Kansas team has the ability to catch, put it on the floor, and score readily. Yeah, through 20 games of the season, Kansas had six players and averaging double figures. Williams inside, up strong. Boy, she was key in the comeback victory in Lawrence, and Coach Cole said she's going to be big again here today. Yeah, the more aggressive Williams is, I think the more you see good things happen for this Oklahoma team. Carvalho off the mark from the corner three to put the defense in motion in movement so that she can finish over the size that's exactly what she did on that pass from Taylor up to Carvalho on the drive wait nice move inside yeah did a great job of jump stopping you know taking away the what what, what can turn into a charge and able to finish Robertson backdoor cut off the glass those are good play actions for Taylor Robertson. Carvalho again pulls up, and again it's good. Steal by Mitchell, but steps on the out-of-bounds line. You know, the key will be as you get into, you know, the second half and the effects of that. Mitchell. Out to Thomas, back to Mitchell on the drive. As you mentioned, they like to do a lot of that, but again, another charge drawn by Oklahoma. So 15 to 9, Kansas here early. 
Beitenheimer, nice feed to Maddie Williams, who finishes inside. Well, just great action on that right there. A well-designed play, good play calling right there. And again, Tatum on the reach. Yeah, another steal for Beitenheimer and another lay-in on the other end. Beitenheimer doing an excellent job with ball pressure and very, very clever use of her hands. So that cuts the Kansas lead to two. Here as we approach the five-minute mark, and another hustle play from Beitenheimer. Gets on the floor, tie ball, and it's Oklahoma. Back in the starting lineup, of course, to the absence of Ani Ganusa. Pull up, free throw line. Why not, says Tatum Beitenheimer. Let's just do it all. The whole package. <laughs> She'd go bring the, I mean, she's had a great first quarter. But I love the ball pressure right here. You're seeing him meet the ball. She's really, really doing a good job of initiating pressure. Robertson on the board. Up to Gregory. Nice find to Simpson. Gets her own board. Back up for two. Yeah, great penetration by Gabby. Sooners on a 8-0 run to take the two-point lead. Loose ball again. Lots of bodies on the floor. To beat Kansas ball by Pizza Hut. When OU wins, you win free pizza. Good to see Anna back on the court, Jessica, uh, at this point. You can see her on the basketball right there. To see her healthy. And Dan, let's uh, quickly get into your keys brought to you by Riverwind. Yeah, it's already playing out. You know, one of the things that I think is important is turnover margin. And right now it's 8-2. Oklahoma has caused eight turnovers and only given up two. But on top of that, Kansas a little bit more efficient at the three-point line. Three out of four, Oklahoma one out of two. But those will be big keys to watch in this basketball game. Williams over to Yanusa for three. Off the mark. Yeah, she, as soon as she got in the game, she scored, which is a great start right there. I thought it was in. I thought it was yeah. going in, the way she came in off the bench. It's just good to see her back. You know, she's such a pivotal part of this team and, and back in the lineup now. As Coach Cole says, she just plays so hard. Yeah. She had such an energy level to this team. We like seeing Williams advance the, the rebound. One, getting her on the glass and that aggressive nature, very important. So Yanusa on the drive, comes up hobbling just a little bit there. Blocks the shot, you know, but great movement to not foul. Helgren on the putback. Yeah, got on the weak side right there. A lot of rotation out of Oklahoma's defense opened the door for the stick back. the drive has it blocked they're gonna say it was kicked ball in ball screens they're doubling so there's a lot of action going on but Taylor has has moved without it and sometimes it takes a while to bring it all out and check out the freshman there goes back up has the strength to finish very good at the free throw line but doesn't convert on that one 27 23 Oklahoma Thomas on the drive again on the left hand on the left, left side. Yeah, Kansas, in. Kansas. If Kansas gets a closeout, they have really abilities to go north south with the basketball, and you can see it in play there off that little that little curl cut. Inside to Williams, fade away. Nice. Yeah, like that, like that. Carvalho for three, air ball. And they're going to say Oklahoma ball. <laughs> we're, we're looking at Tatum number 32 right there. Her focus has really been good, but talk about focus here. You know, defense in the play, little fadeaway finish. A really good play for Williams to make. Williams again with the jumper. Now up to eight points. 
Yeah. Key part of this Oklahoma attack is Williams playing at the level. 13 points a game. She's had three 20-point games, including 21 in the Jayhawks' upset over Texas. And Meg was listening in on that timeout huddle. Meg, what do you got for us? Jess, Coach Cole really emphasizing the Sooners pushing the answer in just, and she said if you can't get it to the wings, get it to the rim. She said they really want the Sooners to take that transition strong side rim run. It's going to be open. And also if T-Rob is taking up the ball, she wants her to be a lot faster, guys. A fast-paced game right now, and you're seeing... You know, both teams, really, the benches are going to be important. You know, this has been an up and down affair early and got a feeling it's going to stay right there. Five on the shot clock. Weitenheimer pulls up. That one off the mark. So you see Franklin, Zakia Franklin back in. She's been battling foul trouble. There's Tina Stevens on the board, but Travis. Yeah, long. You can see the pursuit was definitely in place right there. Oklahoma looking to get Taylor Robertson a little bit untracked here from the three. Simpson on the drive, but no good. Yeah, great, great penetration. Just didn't get the finish that should follow. Yeah, Williams doing a great job on the block out and in pursuit of the ball. You can see Oklahoma wanting to reverse the basketball and attack. Inside to Simpson, pull up jumper. No good. And Yanusa waiting to check in for the Sooners. Carvalho on for three from the corner. Yeah, well-designed play for Kansas at... You've got 13 already. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a been a big story for this right now. Oklahoma, but a, a streaky game. Oklahoma looking for their streak and, and answer. Inusa on the drive, goes up strong and gets the finish, and she's headed to the line. And just like that, Oklahoma back up three. You love that coming out of a timeout. <laughs> a well-designed play by Oklahoma and a great finish on that three-point play. Carvalho on the backdoor cut. Does the foul on Simpson. <laughs> so Robertson on the bench for Oklahoma. That's a rare sight. She doesn't leave the floor very often as Williams tries to go up strong. On the floor again, tie ball, Oklahoma will maintain Weidenheimer, bounce pass to Lampkin. Oh, nice find to Williams, but can't maintain possession of the pass. There's Yanusa for three. Drano. Boy, Yanusa has come back in this second time. Two three-point plays, one the old-fashioned way, second one on a catch-and-shoot. Great, great sign for Oklahoma. And that is 11 for Yanusa in, in limited action already. Yeah. You can see why she's so key to this Sooner team. And there is Kurz Dieter, the Oklahoma native, knocking down the response on the other end. Yeah, we, we've had quite a game. You know, you're seeing plays made at both ends right now, runs answered by each team. You know, a good level of basketball here in the first half. Canusa to Lampkin, pull up. And it's knocked out to Williams. I believe Canusa. Well, you can see the joy she has being back on the court. Right. Just wants to play the game. There she goes again. That one won't go. So back in is Robertson. Gregory, he's going to get a breather. And back goes the face guard. <laughs> Illegal screen. Leave. See right there. Just keep... oh, they did get Lampkin on it, I think. Yeah, the upper body, you know, in, in movement there. That contact with the arms. Carvalho 
for three. That one is no good. He needs to get to let that one go out of bounds. Jessica. He talked about the last time when the 22-point comeback, they did such a great job with the game plan on Taylor Robertson. Yeah. And then the game plan kind of fell apart in the second half. So, so far, they're holding up their bargain on the game plan here on Taylor Robertson. Well, keep an eye on Taylor in the second half. She has the ability sometimes to wear defense down. Will it happen again? We'll have to watch and see. The Yanusa trying to get it over to Robertson. Turns it over. Back the other way. Two seconds. Up with Stevens. Gets the roll at the buzzer. And Kansas will take eight. And can find space. Is it actually possible? And he said yes. But she needs to go to the rim and score in the paint, Jess. All right. Thank you, Meg. And Sooner fans will be glad to hear that Yanusa will return the same type of format as she. Right there. The physicality a little too much inside for Kansas. Kick out to Gregory on the drive. Inside to Williams. Nice find, nice finish. Yeah, Williams, great activity without the basketball. It's been a real key to her success in this basketball game is what she's done before receiving the ball. And Kansas with the response on the other end. Kansas manufactures points pretty easily, as you're seeing, when they get a long closeout and can use the dribble. Wow! Turn around, gets the left-handed roll, and somehow does Maddie Williams. Yeah, Williams with a great finish. Keep an eye on the rebounding. The two things that jump out for Oklahoma. Keep an eye on the rebounding. Can they battle and, and, and get that more in line and can Taylor Robinson get open at three she's very very clever in second half sometimes after a dry first half and not getting a lot of looks and a lot of times figuring out what what exactly the defense is doing and the help off of you as Weinheimer pulls up for three that one's no good Be off Kansas, off Stevens, Oklahoma ball. Gregory looking to go inside to Williams. Kick ball from Kansas. Which is a great vehicle to get herself open as well. Another loose ball off of Kansas. Players like Taylor, you got to keep moving, you got to keep moving, and you hope fatigue comes into it. You hope some of the different actions cause them to have to help in other ways so that she can get some space. Inside to Merriweather. Jump ball. Stays with Kansas. Kansas's way in the contest so far. Thomas on the drive, that one rims out. There's Simpson with the board. Takes it all the way, knocked out of bounds on Kansas. Guard trying to finish inside. A lot more difficult with her presence. Gregory on the curl, pull up. No good. Feidenheimer almost gets herself another steal, knocks it out of bounds. She did. Oh, and then they right here and gets that deflection off the body right there you you, you saw it jessica you just wasn't sure the officials saw it, but they were on top of it hey, I they, tried. Got it. they got it <laughs> weitenheimer tries to go up draws a foul two for two for weitenheimer and she's now up to eight points collision inside Right. Carvalho on the drive. Boy, she, she's been outstanding, Jessica. She has been very, very efficient with her touches. Up ahead to Williams. Is knocked out of bounds by Kansas and tie changes we've had so far tonight. 
Yeah, just a good finish on Can you know for Kansas there, but Oklahoma answering back. That's really been a that's been move right there coming out of it. it. You know, she's posted up more, she's shooting the three better. You just see her moving in the right direction as a freshman. Inside they go to Helgren who finishes with the left hand. Yeah. High low play for Kansas, well executed. Picture perfect pass. It's like Dan Hughes would have drawn up. <laughs> I'll claim that one. Absolutely. <laughs> I'd be proud to have that one. Gregory, again, aggressive inside, but throws that one out of bounds. Yeah, that's, that's something Oklahoma's been very good about in this game, been very efficient. They want to make sure they are able to do that because the Kansas team can thrive on turnover situations. Helgren with the offensive rebound again and draws the foul on Robertson. Kind of relieves some of that pressure off of Robertson, too. Oh, big, big. And, and you know, Taylor's just got to keep moving. It, it, I got a feeling it's going to happen, but you just don't ever know when she's getting this much attention. Williams goes hard to the floor. Yanusa gets herself open and gets herself to the free throw line. Well executed track. And that could be huge. The foul line could be a great vehicle for consistency in this game. So Yanusa up to 10 points as Oklahoma regains the lead. Inside to Merriweather, trio of suitors. Knock that down and another loose ball, another tie ball, and it's back to Oklahoma. Realize this is an important game, you know. February and a chance to get a win and kind of catapult your momentum as you close out the season. Everybody knows this is kind of a court. great action there. Taken away from Kurzgeter. Inside to Merriweather. Locke will be called on Yanusa. On the floor, and you can see the training staff jumping to the moment to make sure they can stay out there. And there's a still by Weidenheimer back the other way and they take it in rims out Carvalho for three Williams on the board backdoor cut to Robertson out to Yanusa for three and she gets it and that's where Taylor becomes very, very important. Moved without the ball, got a backdoor cut, but was able to use that inside-outside play for her teammate. And Anna delivers the three. Oklahoma up four. Kansas with the size advantage. Here's Kurzgeter, throws that up. Merriweather on the board. Kurzgeter on the board and gets that one to go. Yeah, Kansas continued to rebound at a stellar level right there, getting second chance opportunities. Two point Oklahoma lead. Williams thought about the three. Inside. Merriweather's length factor again. And there's Thomas. Been called for a few. And there it is. Four-point swing for Kansas to take the two-point lead. So Yanusa draws the foul and they two weeks. 15 points now for Yanusa. Once again, oh my, with the steal to Yanusa, fast break, Williams draws the foul to the line. Yeah, not only that, but... Thomas on the drive. And it was Lampkin looking at uh, quite the year of Big 12 teams kind of beating up on each other a little bit. But Oklahoma there at the bottom, but with a chance to continue to move up and move up even as high as probably, I think, six or five in those Big 12 standings with still four games left on this schedule. And Kansas coming right out in this back-and-forth affair. 
you know, striking first in this situation. But you make a great point. You know, you there are so many teams kind of lumped together in a similar record. There's these next four games are going to be huge as far as tournament placement. Inside to Gregory. What a move by the freshman. Yeah, Gregory has some real post-up ability as, as a guard in those situations. You can see her. She's very, very comfortable in the little block. So Oklahoma regains the lead. And Meg was listening in to that last time out. What's the game plan here, Meg? No, Meg? All right. Well, Kansas drains the three there. The two-point lead for Kansas. Kansas. Both teams, you know, the benches have been so huge. Oklahoma up two in bench scoring. But th this game has been a back and forth affair. I got a feeling the depth of both teams will be felt here in the fourth quarter. And a foul on Williams. Franklin on the drive. Steal by Yanusa. Up and under. Gets her own board. Hustles for it. <laughs> Weidenheimer comes up with it. 20 on the shot clock with a lot of action. Weidenheimer tries to go up, draw the foul. Somehow Hank comes up with it and finds Williams. A very persistent offensive score for Oklahoma. That ball bounced around like a pinball machine. What do you call that offense, Dan? I call it two points. You know, <laughs> uh, you know that's what I call it. But yeah, interesting to watch. A player in the right spot at the right time, and that's usually got to do with the activity level of the player. 18 points, just picked up her third foul as Yunusa picks up another steal. Does not have numbers, she'll pull it out. Over to Gregory. There's Gregory for three. You know, Kansas really battling. That's her 21st turnover. Battling, you know, the ability to run offense without turning it over. But their rebounding prowess has kind of answered that with second chance opportunities. Thomas on the drive, draws another foul. Point game for Thomas. Yeah. And you can see the rebounding that has been such a story in this game for Kansas. Their ability for second chance opportunities. Stevens on the jump stop. Kansas lead up to three. Yep. He use on the drive, spin move. Goes up against Helgren, draws the foul. Very impressive numbers coming back on the court after an injury had taken her off for almost two weeks. 17 for Yunusa. Here goes Franklin on the pull-up. And again, another offensive rebound from uh, for Thomas. The pull-up from Franklin. And Franklin able to get that stop and pop action again. Now, you know, is her time of the game. Can she find some space? If she finds the space, she'll deliver pretty, pretty readily. That door cut for Robertson off the glass, rims out. Pretty good shot. Three-point Kansas lead. Under six in the fourth. Mitchell on the drive. Travel. Yeah. But as you mentioned, looking to be a great... Just and not foul. Very, very pivotal.
Gregory for three. Travel for Kansas. Coming down on the rebound. Class one, two, three Oklahoma players. And there's Yanusa. Again, cuts the lead to one. Off of the baseline, out of bounds. One of the best things Oklahoma does game to game. Another takeaway for Oklahoma. Weidenheimer back to Yanusa. Headed to the line, hard foul. On offense, interesting strategy and in this 70-70 game. Boy, just up. Continues to be a back and forth affair. First free throw miss for Yanusa, but she's up to 20 points. There's Williams on the rebound. Gabby Gregory. To Yanusa on the cut. And back to the line she goes. Yeah. Games against Oklahoma State and West Virginia, and then suffered that injury again. And Meg was listening in on that huddle, Meg. Yeah, Jess, Coach Cole saying to her team, shot selection down the stretch, it needs to come in value. No crazy twos in the final four minutes, and get every loose ball possible because the possessions are going to be really important here, Jess. Thomas on the crossover, knocked out of bounds off Yanusa. Move real, really doing a great job of not fouling. Helgren with another offensive rebound for Kansas. But that's the story. Kansas has been able to rebound readily. Three at the buzzer, no good. And Mandy Simpson back into the game as well. She has four inside to Williams. Goes up strong. He draws yet another foul. Kansas right there. Inside to Williams. Double dribble. Trying to make a move. Yeah, Kansas with a chance to go a couple possession lead here with only 315 to go. Big stop called for for Oklahoma right now. 73-71. Out to Franklin on the drive. Gets, gets it to go. Four-point lead for Kansas. Quickly up to Yanusa. Quickly with the response. Big-time pass by Tatum and great finish. To play about half the game, and her effectiveness has been, without a doubt, at a very high level. be out of bounds off of Kansas. Yeah. So 238 left in this ball game. Taylor Robertson is on the bench. She's gone 34 straight games with a three and does not have one tonight. It was February 10th, 2019 that she did not have a three-pointer in a basketball game. And but you're saying there's still plenty of there's time still left. Game. There's still game. There's still game. But key possession for Oklahoma going inside to Maddie Williams. And she delivers. Tough finish. Oversize. Tie ball game, 2-12 to go. And there is Tatum Weitenheimer with a career high seven steals. And she's kind of smiling about that one. You knew some of the drive. Tries to go up over Helgren, but blocked. Timeout from Kansas. Yeah. 31 remaining. Yeah. Franklin on the drive. 
Gets the bucket and she's headed to back to one. Yeah, big, two big free throws for Maddie Williams. Oklahoma in a stop and score situation for a win. Under a minute. De Carvalho to Stevens. Doesn't get the roll, but she's headed. Here. Inside to Gregory. Tries to draw the foul. Loose ball. Will yeah. stay on this end. It's going to be Oklahoma's ball. Deep in the corner right there. Get it into Weidenheimer. They, they, they guarded the rest of the team with four players, and they devoted it. And every time that, that Taylor got close to it, she saw two players a lot. They're trying to skip it over. It's taken away by De Carvalho. Still a two-possession game, 10 seconds. Robertson for three. There she goes. Her first one of the game. They get it in, in the wow. backcourt. Close to five. Very close to five. And there it goes. That is your final.